Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about our three systems across the North Atlantic Basin. So we have what is now Tropical Storm Odette as well as Invest 95 and 97L. We could see 95L becoming a storm probably by later today or tonight. And so before I go into details... Alright, so let's start off with Odette. So Odette is located well off the northeast coast of the US and as of right now it is looking quite compact on satellite and so let's go on to the cone forecast from the National Hurricane Center. And so we're seeing here that Odette has winds of 45 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the northeast at 15 miles per hour. So by later today it is expected to transition into an extratropical cyclone but it is going to be strengthening during the next couple of days and so it could it could bring some storm force winds to portions of Newfoundland but as of right now there are no watches or warnings that are in effect and so let's go on to our other disturbances across the basin so we have invest 97L so this is our disturbance that is located to the south southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands so as you're seeing the chance has risen slightly from what we saw yesterday so the chance is now at 40% for us to have developed of a tropical cyclone of this disturbance here and so looking at it on satellite we're seeing here that we have quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity associated with the system here but it is not so organized as of right now but there is that chance that it could become a brief tropical cyclone but as it accelerates up to the north then conditions will get increasingly unfavorable so during the next couple of days this is not expected to be a threat to land for anywhere so that is the fortunate news with this disturbance and so finally let's go on to invest 95l so this disturbance here is around for quite some time now and it is given a high 90 percent chance to develop now so the chance has increased and so exactly that probably by later today or tonight we could have it become a depression or a storm and if it does achieve tropical storm status it will be designated the name Peter which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season and so portions of the Leeward Islands might be affected by the system as it is going to be making its way up to the west northwest or to the northwest so if you're there you want to keep an eye on this for the early part of the new week but of course Course, once they're going to be give, given advisories if we do have a strength into a depression or storm then of course I will keep you updated on it and so looking at it on satellite it is looking a lot better organized more short and thunderstorm activities taking place with this than what we saw yesterday yesterday it was not looking so good at all so here today we have a very big improvement of this but it's definitely taking advantage of the favorable environment that is that it is in at the moment so let's look at what our models are forecasting in terms of its intensity and so all our models here agree that we will have 95 l strengthening into a tropical storm and they're not expecting it to become very strong because it is going to be encountering some stronger upper level winds as it accelerates more to the northwest so for that reason it is not expected to become something that is going to be very strong but regardless it could still bring some dangerous conditions to portions of the northeastern caribbean and so let's take a look at conditions across the basin so ocean temperatures are of course very favorable to support our disturbance here to develop nicely and now in terms of the wind shear, we have the different colors here that mean different shear intensity. So we have the green that means favorable, the yellow that means neutral, and the red that means unfavorable. So the upper level winds are expected to increase as we have 95 L making its way more to the northwest. So it definitely has limited time to really get in shape because once it encounters those stronger upper level winds, then we won't see much intensification of it and weakening is going to be induced as for the caribbean it is a very favorable region right now in terms of the shear so if we were to have 95 l make expecting to make its way into the caribbean then it would certainly be entering a very favorable environment that is going to be supporting development of this and could have become something significant but fortunately that is not the case and so guys now let us go ahead and take a look at what our gfs model is showing in terms of 
the system. In case you're not familiar with this map, this is a map that is showing the isobars and the isobars, they're lines of equal pressure and so the closer you see them in a circular manner with the pressure being below 1013 millibars, that is the low pressure system and can be or tropical cyclones. And so that is what we're looking for here. So this is today of course the 18th of the month and so let's go further out to September 19th tomorrow on Sunday and so we're seeing here that we have 1009 millibar low pressure system and so this is most likely tropical storm at this point so let's go further out with this and by the 20th of the month which is Monday the GFS is showing that we're going to be having the system weakening and that is likely due to the uh, stronger upper level winds that it is going to be encountering and after that point the model does not show a whole lot become of the system so we really have to wait and see what is going to be the eventual outcome but again if you're in the northeastern caribbean you really want to keep an eye out because this system here could bring some dangerous conditions regardless of how strong it gets so there is the threat of that a very heavy rainfall also those gusty winds and maybe some storm surge associated with the system as well and so you want to ensure that you are taking all the necessary precautions and staying safe for the early part of this week so i would say the leeward islands of course and probably the virgin islands as well and maybe puerto rico might be in that zone that might be affected by this disturbance here as it's going to be making its way by and so guys so far in this hurricane season we have just a few names left on the list and it is likely that we probably have another storm or two before the end of the month so we'll have to wait and see what is going to be the eventual outcome for the rest of this hurricane season but it seems as though we will be using that new auxiliary list this season because we just have after peter we just have five names remaining and i think that we could definitely have five or more storms between now and by the end of november so we'll have to wait and see what's going to be happening and hopefully we have no more big surprises that are awaiting us for the rest of the hurricane season so guys again if you are in newfoundland you might feel some impacts from odette as it is going to be making its way by so some strong winds but nothing too impactful that is going to be causing some very very bad damage and if you're in the northeastern Caribbean, you might be affected by invest 95l which is likely to become a tropical storm very very soon and so guys that is really it for this update and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and since i can and just remember to always be otherwise and of course i will keep you updated as time goes by